morning. Oh, I just nearly fell over. It is about ten past eight. I've been awake since quarter to six, aimlessly scrolling. Although since then, if sorry, Charlie's wanting attention. Hi, Charlie. Um, I've done my Canva. What am I saying? Canva adverts for my treatments. I have spoken to eBay because I had a customer disputing a fossil delivery when there's the tracking number there, an image of where it was delivered to, the date it was delivered to, and she'd already given positive feedback. So I'm not sure where my, why my payment was on hold, nor is the customer service, so they're going to sort it out. Um, I've got to get back to them tomorrow and so that they can step in. That just depends yeah. on what comes through. Um, gratitude journaling, do that. I've got the room ready. All clean. Charlie's clean. We've got some toys out on the floor. Still got the lino because I've still got the kitchen to do. Um, and we've got nursery rhymes playing on Alexa. Charlie, are you happy today? Hello, Charles. Are you happy today? Hello. You've been dancing, haven't you, and singing? Hey. Good morning. I'm on my phone, so there might be a difference in the filming quality. Um, it is nearly 12. Yeah, nearly 12. And it is Thursday the 9th. I've just this meeting done some moderation online, which is marking students' work, being like the second marker. And then I've got this to do, and then I've got to nip to the next village um, next village and next town to see if I can find a dress good afternoon so Simon has been to the charity shop and just thought I'd show you what he got from the charity shop today I haven't seen these yet a mug. Oh, a mug. That's nice. Texture yeah, that. Who's that by? Um, I don't know. Studio pottery or? It says on the bottom, I think it's a V toy or something. That's nice. Very retro. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. And then the problem with that is to get some breakages on that one. On the antlers. I think on that antler, top of them trees, maybe top of them trees as well. But it still looks good. Yeah, it's nice. I think you can get away with that. I got a paid up for this. It's nice. He's just wanting to focus on you, Simon. <laughs> That's nice. nice. Mm, yeah, sort of. No, That's it nice, a dragonfly. Yeah, on your face. It's a dragonfly. It's nice. Who's it by? Um, I don't know. It just says. That's lovely. Um, decorated with Australian crist crystals, twenty-four karat gold plated. It looks lovely. That. How much did you pay for it? Seven quid. Mm -hmm. I think I might have paid a bit much, but never mind. Then I got this little teddy. Well, it's told it's not black. But this little teddy, it just looked interesting. And I couldn't see a make on it anywhere. And then when I've researched, searched, researched it. Jelly, jelly cat. cat. Oh, Barbie cat. cat. <laughs> it's, is That's it Barbie? nice. It's Thunderbird, isn't it? It's thund uh, yeah, it's not Barbie, I was joking. <laughs> um, it's Matchbox. Mm -hmm. I think that might be worth about a tenner, I'm not sure. And then I got that one because I couldn't find it. Looking it up, it just kept coming back with a real car and I, I couldn't find it. So I got that one as well. A uh, pound each. <clears throat> and I got Aww. a bobblehead on the sheep. I think it's, it's, the sheep. it's got like um, the sheep. things on the bottom there, Velcro yeah. stickers. So I think it Stick probably on car. In car. Mm. Yeah. That's cool. I like showing the sheep. I got... A bowl. It's an oyster shell. Yeah. It's 
pearlescent. I can see it through the camera. I the can see the pearlescence, yeah, of that. Yeah. Very opulent, and isn't flowers. it? flowers. Yeah. And when I've looked it up, it comes back as Capo de Monte, if that's how you say it. Oh, Capo right. de Monte, which, but there's no mark on it. Mm. And I know there's a couple of little flaws in the way that it's made there. Which Are you sure it's not a copy of? It might be a copy of, but it I mean, looks like it's a good copy. quality. Look, you look at the quality yeah. of the, the make. Um, yeah. But the one that I saw, Capo de Monte, is about 350 quid. See, there's a lobby on the floor. <laughs> yeah, that was a Looney Tunes hat, mm. which is fit for you. original Looney Tunes. Oh, wow. That's it's got nice. a Looney Tunes thing there, and it's got Elmy. Elmy label One and it's 1999 so i went to a dress shop to see if i could find some more dresses for i've got a bridal shower to go to and then the register office wedding and then the wedding wedding on um the saturday and i went to a normal dress dress shop and i couldn't find anything i liked one, because good old menopause and me, I've put a lot of weight on. Um, I have started eating a lot more healthy, but I haven't put weight on. And it's around my stomach. It's a classic menopause. Wait a minute, this my the gimbal's just going all over. See if I can get it on my face, that's it. So, went into this normal boutique shop, and it was quite reasonable price dresses. Were actually, really reasonable. But they just didn't look right. Um, I didn't like them at all. And so I thought, right, I'm off in the charity shop. So I found two dresses. I found this one, which... Let me put it on the wardrobe. And I'll turn it round. It looks nothing on, and it's actually... It's a size 16. So it's like a cerise pink. And it's long, and it's fitted in. And then on the back... It's like a peephole back at the top and then a zip down. So I got that and it it looks nice on. And then I got this one, which I can't remember who is this by. Oh, hold on. This one, which is high neck. Sorry, high neck. I'm not doing a very good job of this. So it's floral, it's high neck, and then it's like a, a pleated down to the bottom. One of the dresses I didn't realise, I paid £20 for it. And I'm like, what? I thought it was like, I thought it said £2 something. It said £20. But since then I've looked at it, it's a Hobbs dress. So I haven't lost my money at all because I'm vintage the selling for 35 So if anything, if I decide I don't like it, I can just um, sell it on vintage, which I might do. But I still do like it. I just realised I forgot to take my tablets this morning. I'm getting so lax. Is that... It's weird because I thought I did. And now I'm panicking. Did I take a different day? You know why? That was really lucky. It's not Friday, is it? It's Thursday. <laughs> I got... Can you remember I said I got this? From the car boot. It's one of those weighted hoops and I got it for two pound and I've been using it and I'm, I'm hoping I drop some links in two weeks I've been watching the YouTube videos been sucked into them of people using it for 30 minutes a day you're supposed to be able to lose at least two links I think one link's two inches and people after seven days have lost two inches so I, when you're doing it though it don't feel like it's doing anything you don't get out of breath or anything so I've got that, and I've got my skipping rope, which I'm going to get out the packet and start skipping. I think we need some garden shears, don't you? <laughs> Good afternoon, it's nearly two o'clock and it's Friday. I've sold one thing today, one doll, just one. Uh, and I listed last night and I listed I can't remember, I've been listening all the time, but yeah, 
I'm hoping it improves and the algorithms recognise. But I've noticed since I've dropped my shop down, because I was paying 90 something pound a month on the um, on my shop, and now I pay 32 pound a month. And since I've dropped my shop, um, it has my sales have become non-existent really. So. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know whether I'm going to have to go back up to a bigger shop. But the problem is then, I have 1,500 listings before and delisted them because nothing was happening. Well, we've had a great night. We did some boogieing. Um, we weren't allowed to film it, so I couldn't even take a picture, but really enjoyed it. I do recommend going to see the Fisherman Friends if you can get in, because they're always fully booked. But it was great. Getting out of the car park was not so great. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a free-for-all. Oh. It wasn't. It was one in, one um, out. Good morning. It is Saturday. Don't know what day it is. Um, I'm just at one. Uh, I'm just at my other daughter's house, and we're going to do the final bridal fitting. And what else are we doing? Oh, we're going to Primark. It is Saturday. I don't know what date it is. It's the 11th of May, I was going to say February then, and I'm at my daughter's because we've been out shopping today for um, last minute bits for my daughter's wedding and she had a final fitting. I do hate it when you're in somebody else's house because you're not used to the noises and the knocks and bangs. She's just gone um, for take the dog for its last walk. Yeah, and I can hear noises everywhere. Um, I'm going to put this video up now and tomorrow Simon will be doing car boots. So when I get home, I'll do some videoing. I can't settle. I'll be sitting real home. I will see you tomorrow. I hope you've all had a good week and you're all well tomorrow for what Simon got the car boot. Take care. Mm -hmm.